You ready for this one? The Darts Clearance Heavy Boys Darts Review begins right now. Okay guys, darts review time, and come on, you simply cannot go wrong with a set of darts from right up there. Darts clearance. Over the past year or so, man, they've had so many nice sets of darts, and typically most of them, the, the vast majority of them, under 30 US dollars. The set that I'm reviewing today, 95% tungsten, 27 US dollars. You add in their shipping, which is fairly minimal, uh, shipping to the United States. All in all, right around 30 US dollars. So how are you gonna beat that deal? Where else on earth or where else in any other dart shop are you gonna find a set of 95% tungsten darts for right around $30 shipped to your house? You're, you're not. Darts clearance, man, they're just killing the game. So what I'm gonna do, right down below there in the pinned comment, there's gonna be a link. It's gonna take you over to the darts clearance eBay store. You can check out these darts as well as all the other sets they have. It's kind of hard to choose from because there's so many nice sets. And actually, I just saw a set he put up, I think yesterday or a couple days ago. It's an 18 gram twin ring grip. Those things look beautiful as well. I might have to snag those and do a review on those coming soon. But yeah, today we've got a heavy set. And I typically don't review heavier sets of darts. But hey, if Ryan Searle can play with 34 gram darts, I can certainly review a set of 27 gram heavy boys. So um, I think this is going to be a fun review, guys. Let's see how I get on with some heavy darts. Here we go. Okay, so I probably didn't have to include this clip. I think we're all aware how the darts clearance darts come packaged, but hey, I guess if this is your first time watching a darts clearance review, this is what you get. Well, minus my little dart stand there, but yeah, everything comes packaged in this small white envelope. He did include a couple extra sets of flights here. We've got the, what are these? Oh, we've got the uh, pentathlon HD 150s, 150 micron flights. So those are some thick boys. We've also got the better visit darts clearance, better call salt kind of takeoff there. And I tell you what, he comes up with the best flights. I'm always excited to see what he comes up with next. And I think these are his somewhat newer ones. The darts clearance flights here take off on um, Back to the Future, right? So super nice flights there. As far as the barrel goes, fairly basic, right? But I mean, come on, 95% tungsten. Where else on this planet are you going to find a set of 95% tungsten darts? for less than 30 US dollars. Just a heck of a deal here. But yeah, very um, very basic multi-ring design. We also got the medium length nylon stem and that's what you get from darts clearance. But let's roll into the next clip and I'll hit you with all the stats and dimensions you need to know. Okay guys, kicking off with the only place on the internet where you're gonna find some rotating stats and dimensions. We're gonna start with the points like we normally do here in this channel. These come with a set of generic points, generic silver points. They only stick out of the barrel 27 millimeters in total. Now, as I say on other reviews, I would highly recommend you repoint these things. I just happen to have some 36 millimeter Caliburn no lip points. I'm not going to repoint them, but this is the sort of point you would probably want to use if you do repoint them, which I do highly recommend. Now, as far as the barrels go, a whopping 95% tungsten. The barrel length coming in rather long, 54.3 millimeters in the barrel width right on these multi-rings, right in the front end, 7.3 millimeters wide. Now I unscrewed the stem, checked out the drill depth. They're actually kind of drilled out eh, somewhat deep anyway, 17 millimeters deep in the back end. Now, as far as the weight goes, you guys saw super heavy 27 grams. However, match weighting was perfect. So let's roll into the next clip and I'll show you this perfect match weight. Okay guys, so check this out. I just took the darts out of the package, sitting down at my desk, checking the stats and dimensions. And first time around, we had perfect match weight. So I'm gonna try it again on video. But yeah, that is one large chunk of tungsten, right? 27 grams. Stand up, come on. The second barrel, 27 grams, right on the money. And the third barrel, come on, look at that. Darts clearance does it again. Perfect match weight, all three barrels exactly as advertised 27.00 grams that's just that's incredible isn't it that is a large chunk of tungsten too so um yeah let's get on with the rest of the video i guess we have what's next oh yeah grip level so let's go into the grip level and then we'll get these things on the board and do some damage with some 27 gram darts 
Okay, so how impressive was that? Perfect match weight on a rather heavy set of barrels. But yeah, as far as the grip level goes, the grippiest part of the barrel would be this section of three razor grips, kind of surrounded by these multi-rings. You don't really feel the razor grip too much. However, it is slightly more grippy right here compared to the rest of the barrel. So it all depends on where you grip. I mean, if you're gripping up front, I would say like a grip level 2.3 on a scale of one to five. But if your fingers find their way right to this section of three razor grips, probably like a 2.8. It's not that much more grippy, but it is noticeable. So yeah, all depends on where you grip the barrel. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna throw these things. I think this stem is a little bit too long for me, but what I do know is we are going to throw on some tridents and eliminate that lip up front because whatever flights that I am using, I just don't wanna bash them up. So yeah, let me uh, get these things on the board. I'm gonna warm up for a bit and I'll try to figure out what stems and flights work best with these barrels. And um, yeah, let's see how I can throw some 27 gram barrels. Here we go. Okay guys, here we go. Five random throws with some heavy 27 gram darts. Oh, we're having a horrendous thunderstorm outside. My lights are flickering. So we gotta get through this quick because I don't wanna lose power. But the only thing I switched up, I went with intermediate length stems. That works best for me, but as far as points, stems, flights, it's all personal preference. So use whatever you're most comfortable with. It doesn't matter, does it? So as far as my grip goes, my point to finger and thumb, right on that grippy section, and it seems to be working pretty well. Oh, is that in? Ha ha! Third dart saver. And you know what I noticed? I love the sound that a heavy dart makes when it hits the dartboard. It's just, it's solid, isn't it? Provided you don't have neighbors on the other side of the wall. Yeah, it makes a, makes a great sound. Especially on a firm dartboard like this. Oh, that one's right down the middle. A little bit low. Lost a flight. If you don't have stem rings on these nylon stems, man, you're just gonna be picking up flights all the time. I think we got a uh, 140 there. Yeah, look at that. 140 to kick us off with. Or no, that was a second throw. Wow, can you guys hear that rain outside? It's, it's bad. Screen's flickering, my lights are flickering. Oh, remind myself, gentle throw. You don't have to throw these that hard. And look at that, good correction with a second dart. Light throw, let the barrel do the work. And that's why they give you three darts right there. Never get upset about a poor first dart. I mean, I yanked that one into the single five, ended up with a 125. So just remind yourself that, guys. You know, I see so many players doing that, especially here in the United States. They'll throw a first dart, and it's, it's terrible, right? So they'll, they'll get all mad. They'll walk around the, the aki, the line. Doesn't do no good. You can't take that dart back. So just stay focused, make the adjustment, and... Um, Make the second and third darts count. All right, here we go. What was that, three? I lost track already. See, there's a poor first dart. Concentrate. That was a good dart, just missed high. Hmm. 41. All over that treble 20 wire though. But here we go, last, last turn. Let's make it count. Oh, right on that top wire, there's the thunder. Come on, right in the middle, come down a bit. Ha ha, there it is. Third dart saver to end us off with. We'll take that. Pray I don't lose power. So we're gonna go to the next clip, guys. I got a nice 180 with some heavy darts. Um, oh, there's the lights flickering. I gotta get out of here, we're gonna lose power. Enjoy the 180 and we gotta wrap up at the end. Let's go.
That was an absolute perfect right, middle, left. Wow. We'll take that all day long, but uh, I don't know why I'm grabbing the uh, white envelope. But hey, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed that 180. That was a nice one. If you did enjoy the video, thumbs up. But uh, even better yet, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of the video. Let me know what you thought of these darts clearance darts. If you bought them, let me know as well. Let me know what you think of them. But hey, it's a great set of darts, I think. Um, oh, so before we get into the recommendation, again, reminder, link down below in the pinned comment. It's going to take you over to the darts clearance website and uh, have a field day. Take your pick. But uh, as far as a recommendation, I mean, 27 grams, a little bit over 54 millimeters long. Of course, they're not going to work great for a recreational dart player, right? I mean, yeah, I mean, this just, it's not a barrel for everybody. However, with that being said, I mean, you got to look at the price and 95% tungsten darts. So if you're a player out there that prefers heavier darts, come on, you can't go wrong with this set. And there's no way in hell I'm going to give darts clearance darts a bad score. So 9.2 out of 10. And I'm going to say that even though I don't think they're going to work well for most players, if you do, again, if you like heavy darts, you got to get a set, right? How can you go wrong under 30 bucks? So we'll leave it at that. Let me know what you think of that score. And until next time, we'll see you on the next video. Later.